Awesome. Okay, so uh, this is the import export improvements uh, weekly meeting. It's the second of February, and uh, we've got quite a bit of updates this week. So, so that is going to be good, I think. So, um, I will start, and then we can pass on to anyone else that has any any updates. Uh, the first from me is the uh, memory allocation uh, problem with the customer uh, import. And that has been merged. So that is done and in 2.3 develop. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I'm happy with that one. Uh, that was an interesting problem. Uh, basically the way that Magento had set it up um, was it was creating an object for each row in the database. Uh, so when you had too many rows, or oh, I think it was 25,000 rows or something, then you started getting into memory issues. Um, so I updated it to the same way that the product import deals with it. So it will deal with uh, just the data it needs rather than the full objects, which was uh, the problem it had before. Um, so it looks like just the customer import uh, doesn't have as much love as some other parts in the system. Okay. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's done. That's merged. Uh, I think it should have already synced across to the import export uh, fork, but it yeah, doesn't matter if it hasn't just yet. The next update, since he's not in the, oh, we have more people. Oh, it's Piotr. Hi, Piotr. Uh, is um, this one to do with the filtering uh, using multi-select options when filtering on export? Uh, we have a fix in place. It's past uh, code review and is uh, currently with the team for QA. So hopefully that will be, um, will pass. Uh, the, I would guess it'll be early next week if it does, because um, we have uh, we have a bit of a backlog on some testing stuff today at least. So hopefully uh, next week we can get that one merged as well, which would be great. Um, the final update from my point of view is I had a call earlier with, uh, with Umar for this, um, uh, the file names one. He was having a few issues with his integration test setup. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to solve that. The only thing left is that he's fixed the code, but the tests are failing. Um, so if anyone, if anyone knows how to get, uh, here, integration tests running on a MAMP, so on a Mac setup, then he might uh, benefit from some help. Unfortunately, I'm running Linux, well, Linux inside a Windows machine. Uh, so I wasn't able to help him with the MAMP specific stuff. Uh, but what I've agreed is I will take over, in fact, I'll do it just now. I will take over the to fix the tests here because the only thing that's um, left is is the test, so I'll just make a note here. Uh, I will cover the test uh, updates here. Uh, and then hopefully again, this will be, uh, we can move this on to QA um, okay. after the code review. Um, that is the, oh, uh, Federico is uh, unfortunately unavailable. Uh, today he had a customer uh, call that he couldn't get out of. Um, he will send through an update um, some point later today, probably to the Slack channel um, with how far he's got with this one and if he needs any help with this at all. Um, and I think, yeah, that's every update I have. Last um, week, there was an, uh, we had an email about the discussion if we make uh, the article number uh, case sensitive or not case sensitive. What's the solution of that? Uh, we had a, yeah, the, unfortunately the meeting uh, itself was canceled, okay. but, um, oh, I can't remember what the decision was now. They did make a decision and we realized that it didn't actually affect our tasks. I will see if I can find the... It's no problem, it's no problem. But I saw also the, the, the emails and I thought... Um, um, the decision was to make it case ins insensitive, I think. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. 
I can talk to, I can double check with, ah, here we go. Uh, currently we agreed to keep SKUs as insensitive. Okay. Um, so that it doesn't change the current setup. So yes. as, as for now, yeah, SKUs are going to be kept as case insensitive. Okay. All right. Yeah, very good, very good. Um, okay, good. Uh, so it will be not no big issue to fix the duplicate uh, skew possible if importing products. Yeah, yeah. It, I, as far as I understand, that it, it didn't affect that directly. Yes. Okay. Very good. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. So that's it from me. So maybe um, uh, Peter, if you want to continue with the your update. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Um, I have been working on the catalog import export empty row values. Um, I've created this week um, yeah, the changes in the code base. So maybe I'll explain what I have done. Um, yeah, I've created in the form a new field. Maybe I'll, I'll take the screen. Wait. Yeah, you can take the screen share. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Share screen. Are you seeing this? Yep. Yep. Okay. So if you go to system import uh, products, you will see that we have a new field, empty attribute value constant. Um, this is a, def a default value, but you can change it if you want to use another value. Uh, I have changed the code base uh, from the Git repo. Uh, downloads, uh, projects, web shops, Git set. So voila. Uh, I've changed the code so you can use multiple values of the empty attribute. So if you try to import, uh, you can use this value to set the empty value uh, to uh, null. No. You can, if you want to use the zero value, it still works. So if you want to set a weight to one or zero, it will work. If you want to set the quantity to one or zero, it will also work. But if you want to set the quantity empty with no value, you can use this constant. Uh, I have edited everything, so this will work. Uh, I have created unit tests. I have created, uh, I will show you. And the, nope, not this one, margin two. So like this, oh, pull requests. Maybe I'm the last one, yes. Oops. Yep. So I've created the empty attribute value constant. In this code, I'm going to check if the constant has been used, so I can set the attribute to empty. I'm changing the validator, because uh, when you're trying to import check data, if you are using the, the check data, you have also need to check if the validator is working. I have edited the quantity validator, because of um, you, yeah, you can use the empty value to set the attribute empty or you could use the, the default one. I've changed the weight attribute value. Um, I created the unit test, edited the unit test of quantity. So if we use the import default constant, this is true. If you're using another one, it's false. Um, I have created a new unit test for the weight. So uh, we are checking the weight also. It's based on the quantity unit test. But it will only uh, it will also check if uh, what's the value if it's true or false. Dif big difference between quantity and weight is quantity can be uh, negative, weight can not be negative. I just let you know this is a big change. I well, change not in the code but in the unit test. Mm -hmm. um, I've edited the product test, so we are using uh, the, if the set, setters and getters are working. I modified the form for adding this new field. The field is using the constant, so the default value of the is using the constant. Created the constant, uh, the field 
value and then the empty attribute constant. So this is now working if you want to set uh, importing uh, products with empty attributes or erasing the attributes, you can use the empty value constant. So uh, I created a pull request um, to, the P to the Magento 2 rep repository. So now we are waiting for, for the uh, core team or David to, to validate and check and if okay, it will be added to 2.3. Um, and we need to create backports to 2.2 and 2.1, I think. Yes. Cool. Um, one question I have at the moment um, is, <clears throat> I think as part of enterprise, there is the scheduled imports. Yes. Uh, so you'll probably, if, yeah, you should have access to the enterprise repository. Uh, you will probably, will probably need to do something there as well with regards to adding that field when you set up a scheduled import as well. I'm having, uh, we don't have enterprise at this moment. Uh, okay, then I can figure that out. <laughs> So I don't, uh, I have experience with the scheduled import, but I don't have uh, enterprise GitHub access. Okay, that's okay. I think, uh, I think I'll be able to sort that for you. All right, cool. That looks good. Uh, yeah, I think that will probably be the only other, uh, oh, uh, and then once it's ready, we'll also need to consider how we document this as well, because yeah. this is... Uh, yeah, this one is difficult to explain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so either, either we add, uh, add something, I don't know, in dev docs, or uh, we'll need to figure out what's the best way of... Or maybe uh, description below here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that might be a good option. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think that could be a great option, actually, adding in the description. Also, when you download the sample file, that could also be a very good idea to have something here with, with default. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to make it so much as possible complete. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. things that, yeah, we need to talk about, uh, yeah, with, with the people of the dev docs, how we, how we should do that, or, or first thing we have to wait uh, about the Quality team, is everything okay? Can we merge mm -hmm. and then can we talk with the dev docs? Yeah, I, so I would recommend going uh, and adding the description in anyway. Okay. Uh, and maybe also adding into the sample file if you can. Okay, no problem. Um, and then yeah, once once the whole thing is, is kind of ready to merge, then we can go on about um, what's the best documentation approach as well. Yes, very good. Cool. Very good. Um, the only thing I didn't create was uh, integration tests um, because uh, truly I never done that before. On, on, so I need to have some more explanation. How about to run them? Um, running the, the unit testing is okay. I have changed that and uh, you tested in PHP units. So that's no problem. But the integration tests, uh, I need to find out how to do that. Okay. Yeah, um, I've got a, I've got a few, a few links to some okay. blogs and documents that I can, I can put together for you for integration tests. Yeah, um, I've been searching on the dev docs, but I, I didn't find any information about how to run them. Oh, okay. Um, well, there is the, there is a bin magento command um, yes. that allows you to run them, uh, but there is also a way of setting it up so you run individual. Um, individual uh, tests. Uh, so it's probably probably a better option. Uh, and I'll send through that to the Slack group, I guess. Um, this should be uh, under dev, I think it is. Dev, okay, tests run. And then you can specify whether you want to run integration or unit. Um, uh, okay, yeah, nice. So uh, th that is one way of doing it, um, but there is a way where you can define only to run one set of tests or an individual yeah, test. Yeah, import, export like that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I'll, I'll send that through in the, in the Slack channel after this meeting, and then everyone's okay. is, can be uh, available. 
Okay, very good. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks for the update. No um, uh, okay, uh, does anyone else have an update? Sorry, I couldn't, I had a problem with Zoom. Uh -huh. um, I would have something, one second that I give there. So uh, regarding my issue, it's, um, so first of all, I realized that there are multiple issues under one. And for example, the first issue that I could confirm and solve, but for now it's only, is uh, this uh, the part of um, when the visibility would uh, give uh, incorrect values, for example. And th this was, one second that I share. Sorry. Um. Do you see it? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, so the issue is that this method is uh, get attribute option. Uh, both are called in, there's two methods called the same thing that supposedly should do almost the same thing, both in import, both in export. With the difference that uh, in import, it takes out the, um, the the label uh, in export and in import it uses the label as a key and so it has the value uh, as a value. <laughs> uh, the problem is that in the um, in the import it has here the um, function to lowercase, so it was impossible to have the same key as the export. So just taking away this uh, function, it solved the issue. Mm -hmm. It was here and another function that now I don't recall, but I will later. So essentially my question is, and both had in the comment that was supposed to have lowercase labels, and I don't know what the reason of this is. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, but it wasn't done in one case and it was done in, in another case. My suggestion would be, just to not uh, lowercase because I don't see the reason of that. So if you agree with me, I will just push this modification as it is. Uh, one other suggestion, uh, this depending on what you say as well, is maybe it would be useful to put these methods in um, outside the, to be sure that they call the same uh, function if it was possible in some way like uh, oh so it's a, a common function you mean yeah so mm -hmm. we don't have this kind of situation where you have different behavior uh, for the same thing it's just a suggestion but the quick fix is just to take away the st to lower function um, this is one issue <laughs> okay cool uh, and what I think I would like to do is uh, take away this one. That again is the same thing. In one, they just use it directly this vari uh, uh, variable. And this case does this, but it's useless because it does over and over again the same thing. So I don't know why it was done. And you're saying? Uh, no, no, I was just going to um, see if anyone had an idea about the to a uh, string to lower it's a bad idea so it must be removed yeah. oh. okay. i would uh, assume it might have been used uh to to try and get around typing errors like if someone makes a mistake when um typing the csv and that's why it's in was in the import but not in the export maybe uh, but that's yeah, only an assumption um so this is one issue that solves only when you do the import of a file that was expert, uh, exported with the same uh, lo uh, locales. Mm. But if the export was done in a different locales, you still have an issue. Yeah, and, we know. Uh, 
So the, for this problem is, let me find, uh, here. so in possible option, it uses that method that I showed you before. It essentially what happens uh, is not that it's uh, based on store ID values because it's actually just a hard coded uh, string and that gets trans translated automatically within your locales. And yes. uh, so it's impossible for the program to know what was the locales of origin and so to, to mm -hmm. make a transformation. The only thing uh, we could do is like um, to compare the text of a, of, a, um, of a translation. But I don't know how to do it like, because if it was, for example, it was exported in Italian, how do I know that the Italian translation? You do don't. What is my yeah. question? So I'm not sure how to solve this one, except for maybe just not translate it and just take it out in English as it is, as a string, without having the translation in the middle. And this way we would be sure that even an import and an export would be always the same value. This regards only values like visibility or display products or stuff like this. But, they're not, but they don't have their values in the database but by store. To be yeah. So this only affects... Um, uh, if you export and import in different languages. Right, like but does this affect where all... Where the admin user has different languages set it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And does this affect uh, all, all uh, select attributes or is it only... Um, uh, most of them, that, most of them. the one that doesn't have a um, hard code, uh, the one that have uh, the values, textual labels hard coded to be... To be more clear. Okay. I still have to find out what happens for the um, uh, options for the attributes. That part I yet didn't get to see and test. And actually, I was wondering if it was possible to have the help of someone that knows has, how has to be how has to work that part, just to not go and just guess by the code. Mm -hmm. and no, not do reverse engineering to understand yeah would be helpful i remind uh, some weeks ago we had the same discussion about this functionality um and then we decided we only have to use the admin values it's what i would expect yes because uh, the error itself says uh, he expects the admin values so i think yeah. the Everything. Yeah, because it's, it's, we have the same issue at our company at this moment about the visibility is, uh, uh, field. Um, a lot of customers from us are using the Dutch version of Magento and yeah. they are trying to export. Uh, visibility will have the Dutch lo locale, so it, it will not work to import. Exactly. Uh, That's why I would say just use the the string and not the translated string in the export. Yes, yes. So, so I think we should use the, the admin value in the export and also using the admin value in the import. Uh, but what do you do for, for the values of attributes that can be translated and not for store? Because visibility, to, it's global, right? And it actually doesn't even have values per store. It just has translation for, of its values. But just have this, one, two, three, four in the database. But at this moment, you can't import new attribute values. Uh, I didn't know that, so I'm asking. Yeah, when you, so when you, when you are, it's not, it's not normal. It should, be, it should be possible. But it's at this moment, you cannot okay. import it. Like we said, if you have a new attribute color, and you have a product with attribute value red and an attribute value blue, yeah. if those attribute options are not created in the, okay. uh, before by hand in the admin area, 
it will not work to import them. It will not, the current import will not create the at, at, attribute option red and, and the attribute option blue. So, so the translation for that option, it can be done only through the backend and not through the import? At this moment, yes. Okay. Yeah, so, I was asking that, I wasn't just sure, so I, yeah. Yes. So I think the best option will be to use the admin value. Will it be the best? No, because of um, if you want to use an other system to export or import your data in, um, it can be difficult because you have to translate everything. You understand? So maybe there should be a possibility when you export data from Agento that we ask in which language you want to export the data. Uh, you lost me on this last part. What do you mean? If you export uh, products in Magento, yeah. default we export them with the admin value. But I think we should create a possibility to say, I want to export everything in the Dutch locale. Uh, this would be a future which, I don't know, I could ask. I mean, David should tell me, tell us if we should do that. Yeah, yeah I I'm just, we are, I would like just to focus on the issue and because yeah, it will be that the agile piece. So currently for me, I have four issues inside this one issue. Uh, and actually I was wondering, David, how we could like, I can keep on working on this one issue, but when I do the pull request, uh, there will be different separate one because there are different topics and different parts. Yeah, I would consider having a pull request for each uh, part of the fix or okay. each each issue. Yeah, uh, with regard to, um, yeah, I, I, with regard to admin values, yeah, keep it as the admin values, um, and don't worry about creating of the new attribute values. Uh, that is, yeah, definitely out of scope. Um, so we don't need to worry about that one as well. So there's also a different, another issue that I confirm that it is an issue, but I don't know yet why I didn't get that part. That is, um, so some values, I don't know why they get exported, especially if were yes and no values. Uh, for attributes, they get uh, exported with double uh, quotes for some uh -huh. reason. So when it gets to that same method of uh, uh, possible option equal, uh, they, they not equal, so it fails, no matter what. I'm going to check why it gets the double quotes. Uh, I have to see. Okay. And for now, these are the four issues that I could uh, um, extract from the main one. So if you confirm the um, uh, string to lower, I will remove, uh, and that will solve one issue. Mm -hmm. And I would say, yeah. Uh, and also, I will put that uh, we use the text and not the translation. So we don't yes. get the problem. These two things are already, I think, two big changes that would help a lot. Yeah, perfect. I Sounds great. Do, but uh, useful. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Sounds great. Very good. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Good update, I think, from everyone. Um, yeah. Uh, does anyone else have anything to talk about? Uh, otherwise, uh, I think we've all got enough to to get on with uh, for this week. I guess. Again, if you if you feel that you've you want something different to do, there are some pull requests to have a look at if you want to. Uh, otherwise. Yeah, just drop a message in the Slack and we'll be able to find stuff for, for people to do. Um, just a quick update. We have uh, currently two items in code review, uh, three in development and three left in the to do. Uh, and then we have done our phase one, which is pretty good. I think we're making, making some great progress. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, no problem. Thank you. Cool. All right. Have a good weekend, Bye. everyone. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.